What do you mean by good seamanship according to navigation and collision avoidance? Those practices which are considered to be mandatory in shipping but rules are silent on that part. No set of specific rules could be made that would cover all possible circumstances. When acting in accordance with the rule must show good seamanship and common sense. Below a few examples of good seamanship. 1. A vessel underway would be expected to keep clear of a vessel at anchor. But a vessel underway and stopped must comply with the rules, unless she is not under command and is displaying the appropriate signals. 2. When a vessel anchors she must do so without endangering other vessels which may be navigating close by. Distance between ships at anchor greater than diameter of swinging circle. Two ships might swing opposite way. Sufficient cable must be paid out according to circumstances and a second anchor should be used if necessary. 3. In dense fog a vessel without operational radar may not be justified in being underway at all but should anchor if it is safe and practicable for her to do so. 4. When two vessels are approaching one another at a difficult bend in tidal river it has been held to be the duty of the one having the tide against her to wait until the other has passed. 5. If the traffic separation scheme applies to international waters compliance would not be compulsory for the ships of all nations but it would be good seamanship to comply with provision of Rule 10. Thanks for watching.